We pause now for station identification. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. The curtain rises on Act Three of The Wizard of Oz, starring Judy Garland as Dorothy. Well, if Dorothy is ever to get back home to Kansas... And if I'm ever to have a brain... And me a heart... And me courage... Then Dorothy must first get the broomstick of the Wicked Witch and bring it back to The Wizard of Oz. But if the wizard knows everything, the Wicked Witch, unfortunately, knows quite a lot herself. Now, in her bleak and dismal castle, she gloats over a newly captured prisoner. <laughs> Excuse me for laughing, but it was so easy to capture you that I can't help it. At least my friends got away. Toto, too. What do I care about them? It's you I wanted. You and the magic ruby slippers. I had every warrior slave in this castle on the watch for you. Now give me those slippers. No, no. The good witch told me not to. Who that I am. I should know the slippers will never come off as long as you're alive. You... you mean... Ah! Now how shall I do it? I think I'll make up a special batch of poison. Yes, that ought to do it. Some nice, fresh poison. <laughs> Look, it's Dorothy's dog. Sitting there, Ryan, look. Oh, we're gone now, all right. He'll lead the witch's soldiers right here to our hiding place. No, no, he's come to take us to Dorothy, up there in the castle. We can't fail her now, we can't. I'll go. Witch or no witch, I'll tear him apart. I'll knock him cold. I may not come out alive, but I'm going in there. Oh, Ryan, that, that, that's wonderful. There's only one thing I want you fellas to do. What's that? Oh, talk me out of it. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Come what may, we're going to rescue Dorothy. All right, Toto, show us the way. <laughs> this is the room. Toto sniffed her out. Dorothy? Who, who is it? It's us. We've come to save you. Open the door. I can't. She's locked me in here. Tin Man, your axe chopped on the door. But that'll make a noise in the garden. Who cares about the guards? We'll save you, Dorothy. We'll save you. She'll be back any minute. Hurry, please. Here goes the door. Stand back, Dorothy. Oh, I knew you'd come. I knew it. And Toto, Toto. Well, we'll have you out of this castle before you can say, Jack Grubb. <laughs> The witch, the wicked witch. Uh, my little party's just about to begin. God, seize them, seize oh. them. Thought you were being pretty foxy, huh? Now I've got the whole lot of you. Let's see. How shall I start the fun? You first, Scarecrow. <laughs> How about another ball of fire? No, 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 ah! no, 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 She's melting. Oh, what a world, what a world. Who would have thought that a good little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? I'm going, I'm going fast. Oh. She is gone. Look, nothing but a little steaming puddle. She did. You've killed the wicked witch. But I didn't mean to kill her. I I didn't know that water was... You don't understand. Now we're all free. She enslaved us. But now her spell over all of us is broken. Hey! All hail to Dorothy. The wicked witch is dead. Hey! 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 Oh, thank you. And if you don't mind, may I please have her broom? Here. Take it with you. Now we 
can go back to the wizard. And tell him the wicked witch is dead. Barnwood to Emerald City. She's gone where the government goes. I still can't believe my eyes. You come back. Back to Emerald City. And we did exactly what the great Oz told us to do. Here. Here's the witch's broomstick. And now, if you don't mind taking us to the wizard... You we're... see, he promised us. Uh, 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 you yeah, yeah, promised to all your uh, broomstick. What, oh, 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 what an unhappy situation. Unhappy? After all we've gone oh, through... Oh, I'm glad there's no one else around to hear this. Hear what? Oh, little girl, there is no great and powerful wizard of Oz. That is, I am the wizard. But... He spoke to us himself. I spoke to you. Oh, it was no great trick. A dark room, a few smoke powders. Your, your own imaginations did the rest. Why, you... you humbug. Exactly. Oh, you're a very bad man. Oh, no, my dear. I'm just a very bad wizard. <laughs> what about the heart you promised Tin Man? And Scarecrow's brain. Well, anybody can have a brain. That's a very mediocre commodity. Well, I don't have one. Then listen a moment. Back where I come from, we have great universities where men go to become deep thinkers. And when they come out, they know how to think just fine. And with no more brains than you have. Why? But they have one thing you haven't got, a diploma. Therefore, by virtue of the authority in me vested by the Universitatis Committee, um, I hereby confer upon you... The honorary degree of T.H.D. T.H.D.? Doctor of Thinkology. Here's your diploma. Oh, oh, Scarecrow, how wonderful. But, but what about me? I'm still a coward, I think. Of course not. You are merely under the unfortunate delusion that because you run away from danger, you have no courage. A simple matter of confusing courage with wisdom. <laughs> oh, joy, oh, rapture, I've got a brain. <laughs> Back where I come from, Lion, we have men who are called heroes. Yet they have no more courage than you have. But they do have one thing you haven't got. A medal. Medal? Therefore... <laughs> For meritorious conduct and conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I award you the Triple Cross. The Triple Cross? <laughs> oh, shucks, sir. It was not the name. <laughs> you are now a member of the Legion of Courage. As for you, my galvanized petitioner, you want a heart. You don't know how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will never be practical until they can be made unbreakable. I still want one. Back where I come from, there are men who do nothing but good deeds all day long. And their hearts are no bigger than yours. They're called philanthropists. But they have one thing you haven't got. A testimonial. Testimonial? Therefore, in consideration of your kindness, I present you with this small token of our esteem and affection. A heart. It is a heart. Just remember that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved. Listen, it ticks. My heart even ticks. It... But what about Dorothy? You, uh, you still want to go back to Kansas, hmm? Oh, I do. I do. I wish I could help you, child, but I can't. You, you mean a... I'll never get home. But it, it it's really rather pleasant here once you get to know the place. And we want you to stay, Dorothy. You see, we love you, you and Toto. And I love you, but what am I to do? <laughs> what was that? Look what's coming. A bubble. Who's been blowing bubbles around here? Hey, there's somebody in it. It's Glinda. Glinda the Good Witch. Oh, help me. Help me. But you don't need my help, child. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. I have. Then why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn by herself. Have you learned, Dorothy? Well, I... I think that... That it wasn't enough just to want to see Uncle Henry and Auntie Em. And it's that 
If I ever go looking for my heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard. Because if it isn't there, I never really lost it to begin with. Is that right? That's all it is, my dear. Now, your magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Oh, that, that's too wonderful to be true. Only it's, it's going to be so hard to really say goodbye. I, I love you all so much. Goodbye, Tin Man. Oh, don't cry. You rust so dreadfully. No, I, no, I have a heart. It's breaking. Goodbye, Lion. Oh, I know it isn't right, but I, I'm going to miss the way you used to holler for help before you found your courage. I never would have found it if it hadn't been for you. And Scarecrow, I think I'll miss you most of all. Goodbye, dear friend. Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready. Say goodbye, Toto. Now close your eyes and think to yourself, there's no place like home. 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 No place like home. No place like home. It's Aunt Em, darling. Oh, Henry, look, she's opening her eyes. Oh, Annie Em, it is you. Yes, darling. Hello there. Can I come in? I just dropped by because I heard the little girl got caught in the big cyclone. Well, got a I... bad knock in the head, Professor Marvel, but she's coming around now. We we thought for a minute she was going to leave us. Sure had us worried, Dorothy. <gasps> Why, you remember me, your old pal Hunk? Oh. And me, Hickory? You couldn't forget my face now, could you? Zeke, I, I must have been dreaming. I, I was in a place far away, and, and you, and you, and you, you were all there. We were? But you, you couldn't have been, could you? Oh, we dream lots of silly things, dear, when we... No, Aunt Em, this was a real, truly live place. And all I kept saying to everybody was, I want to go home. And they sent me home. <laughs> oh, Toto, you believe me, even if nobody else does. Of course we believe you, Dorothy. Oh, well, anyway, Toto, we're home. And this is my room, and, and you're all here... And I'm never going to leave here ever, ever again. Because I love you all. Oh, Annie M., there's no place like home. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you... Goodbye to the Wizard of Oz, and congratulations to our lovely star, Judy Garland, and those remarkable characters from the land of Oz. 
Judy, we can't tell you how much we appreciate your giving up Christmas with your family to appear on the Lux Radio Theater. Oh, thank you, Bill, but I didn't really. You see, I brought my three-year-old, my four-year-old daughter, Liza, <laughs> says three in the script, but she's really four. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'd like to meet her. I'm afraid you're too late, cowardly lion. Liza fell in love with a scarecrow. <laughs> He's teaching her to dance. Where is he? Let him put up his fist. I'll fight him with one paw tied behind my back. <laughs> Imagine only three uh, or four years old. <laughs> and there's two men fighting over her already. Well, that's because she's a Lux girl, Bill. Just like her ma. Well, I can see you're bringing her up right, Judy. Now what are you girls going to do? Go home and eat more turkey? Oh, no. Positively no more today. But I promised Liza if she was a good girl, I'd take her to the movie tomorrow. Well, why not take her to see Esther Williams in the Pagan Love Song? Metro Golden Mayor's new musical. Well, that sounds good. Liza loves singing and dancing. Then be sure she listens in next week, because we'll have another holiday special. Two of Hollywood's brightest musical comedy stars, Ginger Rogers and George Murphy. And we'll present them in Metro Golden Mayor's recent musical screen success, The Barclays of Broadway. Oh, well, we won't miss it, Bill. Good night. Good night, Judy. And may your new year be a very happy one. Lever Brothers Company, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, join me in hoping that you've all had a joyous Christmas. And be sure to join us again next Monday night when we'll present Ginger Rogers and George Murphy in The Barclays of Broadway. This is William Keeley saying good night to you from Hollywood. Our play was adapted by S.H. Barnett and our music was directed by Rudy Schrager. Stay tuned for My Friend Irma, which follows over these same stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.